What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lamessi here, and today we're going to be talking through a paladin leveling guide. So this is going to be taking a character and leveling him up, leveling him through, uh, and for whatever endgame build that you want, right? Because the biggest thing is when you start the game, or when you see a guy... Ah, I just want to start over. I, I needed to have that stuff set. What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lamessi here, and today we're going to be discussing a Paladin leveling guide. This is going to take you uh, from the start through to the end game, where you can then respec into whatever build it is that you would like to respec. So, what you can do while you're leveling along, while you're taking your character through, um, is make a few adjustments, and it doesn't have to be that exact perfect end game build where you can't have any energy or you can't have anything wasted right those are so specific this is you're playing the game leveling through having a great time and what is the fastest way to level up that character on my own so the first thing that we'll start with uh is we're going to be going from a zeal paladin into a hammerden this is going to be our fastest path through so for our skills let's go ahead and start with skills here for our skills, we're going to go level 1 into Might, level 2 into Sacrifice, level 3, 4, 5, and then you're, and then whatever into... Uh, so 5 is going to be um, your like, Den of Evil is mixed in there, right? And then at 6, you get Holy Fire. Why do you get Resist Fire? Because Holy Fire gets bonus fire damage from Resist Fire. So here we're just going to pump up. Our holy fire until we get to level 12 where we are going to place a point into zeal and then we will keep boosting our holy fire the reason I like only one point of zeal is because it's only two hits which means we don't spend our time getting locked when we're attacking monsters which can which can just be super deadly uh, to ourselves because we can just get stuck zealing and we're like no no no, I don't want to be attacking anymore and then we die so we have the zeal and we have the holy fire and we'll just keep boosting this up until we get to level 18. At level 18, we will go ahead and do a respec. So that's a very easy opening, okay? At level 18, we'll do a respec, and we will go for a point into Blessed Hammer. Just the one, because that's all we can get there. We'll go Prayer, Defiance, Cleansing, and a point into Vigor. And then we'll go to the Offensive Auras, Might, Blessed Aim, one point in Concentration, and then you're going to put the remaining points that you can into Blessed Aim right there. This is going to be a very solid starting piece. You'll use Concentration and Hammers, and that'll be your main skill from here on out. So, continuing up as we continue through the game is going to be, because uh, you'll actually have a couple skill points left over, on the next level up, you'll put another point in Concentration, another point in Hammer, another point in Vigor, and then every level up, you'll just put a point into Blessed Hammer, okay? You're just going to go Blessed Hammer, Blessed Hammer, all of the way. If you ever get a bonus skill from, you know, Radiment or from Killing the Den or the two skills from Isual, you can pop them over into Vigor, um, but you're just going to keep leveling up your Blessed Hammer until it hits 20, at that point, you can then start putting points into Vigor, um, and you can alternate points, Vigor, and Concentration, actually, for kind of, like, peak damage once you get uh, a few points in Vigor. So once you get five points in Vigor, twelve po or seven points in Blessed Aim, then you can go back and forth, one Concentration, one to Vigor, one to Concentration, one to Vigor. And you'll just keep, can keep doing this all the way until this gets to 20, and until this gets to 20. Then once you've done that, and here you can see I'm level 64 or 61, so I've run out of skills. But once you do that, uh, then you can start putting points into Blessed Aim and go from there. Now, is there anything else that you might want to get? Sure. We are going to want to work towards uh, Holy Shield at some point in this build. So I like to generally wait until it starts to kind of be an issue for me um, that I feel like I really need to get to it, which I'd say generally comes in like the middle of Nightmare that it start, I start feeling like, okay, getting to Holy Shield isn't a bad idea. So you can put a point into Smite, Charge. These can be kind of your bonus points. And Holy Shield, maybe put one to three points in it, and then you're going to get some of those plus skills. This is nice because it gives you good block chance, which is very helpful, um, and then also better blocking frames. 
So you'll want to get there eventually as you're kind of going along with that. Additionally, uh, Salvation is a fantastic 1.1 wonder. 60 all res whenever you're running it. So you can literally just put it on and your resistances just kind of go insane. And it's fantastic. If you also want to get a point into Redemption or into Meditation, these are also skills that a lot of people like to get. You're already going to be right there. So it's another one point wonder. Meditation is going to give you mana regen. And then Redemption is going to redeem the corpses of bodies that have been killed and restore some life and mana. So that can be useful for clearing out corpses or whatever it is, right? So that kind of covers your skills right there. Um, for the most part, you're just going to be stacking up your Blessed Hammer and the uh, Concentration Aura and then the Synergies. Now let's move over to the stats. So for stat purposes, you're going to start out, and I actually want to really quickly make sure I get Strength off. Where am I getting the Strength from? Ah, uh, Nadir. And then... Oh, some charms. There we go. So, to start out, um, generally you're not even going to do a lot with your strength whatsoever. If you want, uh, you're going to be putting one point into dexterity so that you can use a scimitar, right? So if you go to normal, you can shop a two open socket scimitar and you can put uh, tier L into it and it will make you a strength root or a uh, steel runeward. So let's go ahead and do that now. Tear rune, L rune. And now you have a steel which has 25 IES and a little bit of extra damage. This can be very useful for the entire time that you are using um, Holy Fire, right? Because that'll give you fast attack speed, which is more hits, which then are boosted by the Holy Fire damage. So starting out, you're going to go into steel. And you're going to also look for the runes for the stealth armor, which we just had right there, which is Taleth. So Taleth, Tyrrell are your most desired things. You can also go Neftir for a Nadir. You can also go for um, a uh, two open socket helm with like two rowels in it or something or two tears in it, whatever it is, right? Amulets, just look for things with like life and resistance and that stuff. Uh, Ancient's Pledge is what we'll want for our shield once we get to Act 5. You can also put this in a three open socket Paladin Shield to get you a few more resistances from the Paladin Shield itself. For a Scepter, anything with plus to Blessed Hammer is really nice once you get to 18. Additionally, you can just get something with 10 FCR, 20 FCR, and use that for the time being until you get something better. Uh, Blood Fist are a nice, simple item that we'll be looking for maybe early on. Anything with life resistances, IAS, hit recovery, all of that is good. Um, rings, just things that have attack rating and damage are good until we do get uh, past 18 and into hammers. And at that point, all we're really caring about is like FCR, um, and, uh, the resistances and then, you know, just a random belt just to have the slots. Or if you get a nice belt with, once again, life res stats, those are all really nice. Okay. Um, so you'll want to be focusing on that sort of stuff. Hisaris boots would be nice to find 10 FRW boots, whatever. Now, once we kind of move forward and get to nightmare, we're going to be doing a little bit more with our gear here. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of mixing stats and gear because basically for your stats, you're going to wear enough in your stats so you can wear your gear. Starting out, like I said, I'm pretty much only putting the points, that one point into dexterity for the steel. My strength I'm leaving alone and everything is just going into vitality. Now once I move into Hammerden, I might put a few points into energy just to get me a little more mana. Maybe just up to like 35 or something. Um, I'm going to put enough strength for sure to wear my Ancient's Pledge. But additionally, maybe up to like 45 or 50. Dexterity, I'm probably not touching a lot until I get Holy Shield. And then I'll start putting enough points in so I can go max block with that. Which is when this says chance to block is 75%. Make sure that when you're doing that, you have Holy Shield activated. So it'll give you your with Holy Shield chance to block. Because this is going to be different than without it. Um, so that's going to be kind of your starting spaces. Now, once we get a little bit beyond all of this stuff, we're going to then start looking in, in Nightmare for better things. So we'll look for a belt that's maybe better like this. Some hit recovery, some life, some fire res. Ooh, that looks really nice. I could also shop a belt that's just a big life belt. Here's another one. I'd look for, you know, um, boots that have dual res on them, have 20 faster run walk. That seems a little bit nicer. Let's go ahead and use those. 
gloves, maybe some sanders. Uh, gets me the 40 life, you know, the 20 IS actually doesn't matter. So here, Blood Fist would be actually a better glove for us. But any gloves that are kind of some nice res and, and life and all of that stuff. For a helm, I want Lore Helm, Ort, and Soul. You can get this from Nightmare Countess. For an armor, I still like using Stealth. However, if you do somehow get runes for like a Smoke, which is Nephilim, you could maybe do that just to get big resistances. If you find something like a Viper Magi or something, that could be really helpful to put into an armor slot. Uh, having the uh, faster cast rate, though, is very helpful for this character. For your weapon, I would totally look to make Spirit, since Ladder Runards are now allowed. Talthol, Ornt, Am in a Crystal Sword, Long Sword, or Broad Sword is going to give you a nice, nice weapon. You just need it to be four open sockets, um, which you can get in Nightmare. Or if you go to Normal Cows, any Crystal Sword, Broad Sword, or Long Sword that you take to Larzic will guaranteed get four open sockets. Only from cows am I specifying that is 100% guarantee. Anywhere else, we do, you'll have to know what the eye level is uh, of the item, which can be a little bit harder to figure out. So regardless, one of those three is going to get you that. You can also make a spirit in a paladin shield. So any paladin shield um, that you find late enough in the game, anywhere in Nightmare, I'm pretty sure guaranteed, will get four open sockets at Larzek. Once again, Talthal or Am. Amazing, gives you the skills and FCR, mana, all of this stuff. These will make your playthrough so much easier and so much faster. Uh, you're looking for rings now that have FCR on them. So if they have FCR, faster cast rate, plus cold resist, fire resist, things like that, that's just cherry on the top. But getting that FCR is very nice because um, you'll want to be able to hit uh, your different breakpoints. And I have all of those listed uh, on my guides and things that you can find. Uh, for what you're looking for exactly, but also just big res, big life, big stats, all of that's very useful. Um, and yeah, you're pretty much just going to be going around looking for these sorts of items just to kind of help your character out. And, you know, oh, hey, maybe a Nokazin gets you really good fire res, you know, I mean, this 30 life 10 all res is also really nice. So a lot of stuff you just kind of have to decide as you're going along. But this is the sort of gear that you're going to be wanting, and your stats are going to be just enough to use that gear, enough for max block with Holy Shield on, once you get to that point, and all of the rest into Vitality, with maybe a little sprinkle into Energy if you feel like you need a little bit for some mana purposes. Right? So after that, uh, you pretty much are good. You've just got your charms. Look for life, hit recovery, and resistances on those. Um, if you can get any skillers, that can be really good. Uh, and otherwise, this is a very solid character overall for leveling. The Paladin himself is very strong with the, with the uh, max block that you're going to be running when you get later on. You're going to be able to take on a lot. And your damage is magic damage from the hammers, um, which is going to be super, super helpful. Because that's just going to be able to kill 99% of the monsters in the game, you're going to run into very few immune issues. The only issue you'll probably have will be in Wave 2 of Bale in Act 5 of Hell, um, where you'll have to use like some Holy Bolt to kill those guys, or drag them, or get a Mercenary, or something like that. Uh, so, other than that, um, I hope that this is helpful. I hope this is a nice way that you can level your, level your character through, and get you th to your end game so you can start respecting into that perfect hammered in or the smiter or the zealot or whatever it is that you want to do anyways hope this was helpful peace youtube